Hey guys, it's James, and I just made a video, but what happened was the um, the game volume was too loud, and compared to my microphone, um, you just couldn't hear me at all. So I'm going to have to remake a video. So I had three battles during that video. I got two victories and one defeat. Also, I'm hoping that um, the width of the actual game screen is better now, because last time I had it on different dimensions, so it was, just, it was pretty thin. So um, hopefully it's fixed this time. Also, before I get into it, um, with my deck, I ended up changing the Ice Spirit and leveling it up once because it was just um, not doing enough damage. So um, yeah, same deck, hopefully get the rocket. Now in the first video that I made, well, I made a video a minute, a minute ago, and in the first battle that I had, I ended up um, missing the rocket. So I was like, oh no, but luckily, maybe it's a bit of luck, you know? The video might have messed itself up and gone, you know, this is just too embarrassing. This guy is too bad at the game. Let's just... He's not hes not uploading this. We're going to make him completely miss and we're, we're not going to make the video work either. So yeah, maybe it was good luck. So I'm going to start off with the Ice Wizard. Now he's committed to the right side, so I'm just going to send everything down the, the left. And then eventually deal with his mini... with his Pekka. So hopefully I can deal with all this on the left. Now... I think the only way I'm going to be able to deal with this on the right is by playing a skeleton army, but he's done that too, so I'm going to have to get rid of his log. I mean, get rid of his log, get rid of his um, bomber. Bomber's pretty OP, but the fact is, it's very situational. Like, I've just taken it out pretty easy. But um, if you have a lot of ground, if your opponent has lots of ground troops, like, he's got a fucking Pekka, which is destroying my tower. What a bastard. At least it's not a spawner deck. I've not seen any building shit. So, um, oh, there we go. Fucking spoke too soon. So, um, we're gonna just get the princess to whittle it down a bit. That hopefully isn't enough. Oh, it is. It must be level 10 or 11. So, um, not sure what to do at this point. I might as well just end the game. Fucking joking, guys. Don't worry. The video's gonna still go. Right, so, um, this might, we could turn this around. It's just like he's got some pretty strong cards. There we go, let's play this mini packer, let's just slap everything down. Who gives a fuck? You never know, this might become a new combo. Yeah, we, 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 we fucked it now, lads, we fucked it. Come on, Tilt. The last video was too bad. So the problem is, we've not got. He's got his bomber, hasn't he? And he's also got um, a skeleton army. So, I'm gonna have to just rocket that because I can't be dealing with the. The bomber Pekka combo. So what? Um, I'm just gonna have to wait out and see what happens. So I'm gonna have to play the princess there, do a bit of damage to that, then send a hog rider over, send over some skeleton army. I don't know why he did that. He just sent a random arrow. So maybe he was aiming for the princess, but misclicked. Anyway, so um, we've got a stream of things in there now. So he's trying to take out my princess at all costs, and he's just wasted six elixir on that, which is that's pretty good for a princess. She's not even dead yet. So she got off sick. Oh no, she's dead. But she got cut, got off quite a bit. So I'm gonna rocket his um, his Inferno Tower. Slap down a princess and a mini Pekka, and we're not gonna win this. I mean, obviously, we're not. We're gonna change deck after this as well. So we're gonna go on the ladder. Check what decks are pretty cool right now that I can run, and uh, we're gonna go for it from there. So as I said in the last video, I've got four legendaries in this account. So we might end up using a Lava Hound deck, or maybe just. Go for a different deck in general. Alright, so let's go. Okay. So we lost that one. That's alright. That's one win, one loss, one win, one loss. So, let's see what other decks we have. I could use that, but I don't really know how to. I could give it a go. This is the problem, though. We got a problem. Which one do we level up? I don't think at this point it's worth doing it because it's too underleveled. But this may be a good idea, actually. I think I'll go for this. We'll level these up a bit. Spend a bit of gold. Splash a bit of cash. Let's go. So we're, we're going to be able to level them all up, actually. So that's not as bad. So this has got lightning in it, which obviously is a lot easier to hit. And it'll also easily counter the, um, musket the three musketeer combo. Now, I've not seen it much recently. I'm going to go with my usual Ice Spirit Hog Rider start. Let's see what happens from there. 
So I don't think I have log in this deck, which that could turn out to be a problem. Oh no, we got princess. Now I'm gonna go with the minions. And then I'm gonna go with the bowler. Now the bowler is apparently a defensive card. I'm not really good at using this card, but we're gonna see what happens. So I think I'm just gonna let that take it out. The yeah, there we go. It's taken out. So we're gonna have to arrow these uh, minions. Right there we go. We also got a bit of damage onto the miner. So I'm gonna have to initiate a push and try and get some damage off. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna lightning hit. No, there's no point. No, there might be. Yeah, there is. We're gonna lightning it. Got quite a bit of damage off. There we go. But now we have no looks left. But we can still trade. We can still defend and trade. And if we make some positive trades, we can turn that five elixir into more, obviously. So we're gonna wait for him to push, wait with the bowler in the back, and at this point I think I'm just best um deploying a mini pecker at the back. Now that's usually not a very good play, but he's trying to bait out my um, my arrows, I think. So I don't know what he's doing. He's just wasting all his elixir. There we go, just got a two elixir up. So there we go, we're making some elixir trades because he's making some really weird plays. So we're gonna get a bit of, nah, we're not we're gonna get one bit of damage off, never mind, forget that. So we're gonna play the baller in the back. There we go. That was positioned pretty good. So now we need to get this over to the other side. So um I think what we have to do is Wait, try and get him to play some out. Oh, there we go. He's played the lightning. Um, I played the lightning, and it's going to take out quite a few things. So, um, oh, messed up. I can't really talk while I'm in this right now. I'm trying to concentrate. It's not going very well. There we go. This this should be the tower. Or not? Now, if he plays something to defend on that side, it's it's just completely fucked it because I can lightning and get a positive trade. There we go. Cheers, pal. So now that that now that's happened, I can build up a tray um a Porsche on the left side. So we'll start off with the mini picker in the back. And then I go with the arrows onto the three towers. Hopefully we play something to defend. He hasn't, but this is fine. So I'm gonna play the Ice Spirit, which is gonna take them out. With the help of the skeleton army. Then we're gonna have to go with the hog rider to draw that aggro away. So, this is going to be pretty decent. Hopefully take out half of the wave, at least. And then we're going to play Skeleton Army to soak up the damage from the goblins. Also, we're going to deploy some minions with a mini pecker there. Slap down a Hog Rider. Hopefully get the minions to sort out the other minions. Uh, he's just got a fucking mass amount of minions, hasn't he? It's everywhere. He's playing loads of little little guys. It's just annoying. You can't win, you just can't win. You can't lose either because it's just so shit. I mean I might just I guess I'm just gonna give up, there's no point. There we go. So we got a draw out of that one. Go straight into another game. Uh, we're gonna have to try another deck actually. Let's go on. Let's go and lead the board. Scroll down a bit. Random click. See if we can copy this. Come it now. I'm not gonna copy that. It's just too OP. Um, I've not got the skeleton army. The the legendary. Um, shall we be the scum of the earth and go for the royal giant deck? I think so. Right. Let's go. Actually, we might be able to, we can replace that. Now we're good. Alright, now we're not. We're gonna replace that with the princess. Right, let's go for it. I've used this deck before, and it's just it's the scum of the earth if you can get a good lead. Because you practically just need to slap down a royal giant at the bridge if he's on low health and you won. So he's gone for the split with the, um, the barbarians. <clears throat> now I can deal with this pretty well. Because I'm gonna, have to, I can just place my minions there. But on the other side, I'm gonna have to play um, Princess. Oh no, that was a really bad placement, and I got a free and um, three elixir. 
See, and I, I don't know if this is a problem, but what happens is with, with characters like the wizard, um, the opponent, when you like place them in front of the wizard, it'll automatically fire it and, and it's like it's buffed or something. So instead of going from a 1 attack speed, it'll go 0 0.1, it'll go from um, 1 attack per second to 0 0.1 and instantly fire. So I think that's a bit broken, honestly. Like, that's not how it's supposed to be, is it? So, it's like it's, it needs a buff or something, or something else needs to change him. But maybe that's just the wizard and that's why it's strong, or they're trying to make it strong because it's pretty weak. I don't know, personally. It just auto fires and I don't know why they've done that. There we go. We deal with that. See, this by playing the Royal Giant is taking his tower down. I think it took it down by about a thousand. So that's how broken it is. It's just no skill. Just all win. Alright, let's go for the minions. Slap down the Royal Giant. Now the Royal Giant. Oh, there we go. I got a reason to play log. Right, I'm gonna have to play the mini, the, no, the mini, the mega minion, and then also put down some skeleton army on the left. Hopefully, it doesn't get too much damage off. There we go. It's still surviving. That means it's got a waste of elixir to get it down. So we're gonna play the princess there and hopefully take it down. It's got to deal with the left side. Uh, no, never mind. It's done. He's done it now. There we go. We'll play the furnace there. Oh no. This is just. This is awful. It feels bad, man. There we go, there we go. It's basically taken out his, um, his left side. It doesn't matter what he does there, it's taken out. There we're, gonna, we're gonna fit in the log with the minions. Minions? The skeleton army. Also hit in the log, and we're gonna deal with the minions. Get a furnace on the right side. Then we'll also. Oh, we're not even taken out his tower yet. It's alright, this will do it. There we go. So we're gonna just play quite a few minions on this, on our side to deal with what he's throwing at us. Throw down the royal giant on the left side. Royal giant should hopefully take that. Ah, oh, never mind. He's gonna deal with it with his minions. Oof. See, they're all playing these decks where it plays hundreds of um, little individual characters, and it's like, can you just get out of my face, bro? What the fuck are you doing? I mean, it's not really a game if you just go in, click, 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 and just play some random shit, mate, and play some random shit. Like, there's strategies to this, and trying to get his princess to whittle his tower down. But when there's play some random shit, like, why does he have that? There's an easy... He's played three elixir for no reason. I'll probably be able to deal with my, um, skeleton army. See, so, yeah, let's hope... Let's hopefully soak up the damage. We're going to play Vernus there to deal with these. Hopefully, he can take them all out. But yeah, though, I hate it when it was like just like, little decks where they whittle you down with all these. Like, he's got someone that plays, he's got his minion horde, he's got a, min a hog rider, skeleton army. It's just like, what what is he doing? He's basically playing a spawner deck. It's just the scum of the earth, and I've had two in a row, so it's not like it's a uncommon thing. There we go, we've got another draw. This is pretty shit, this, isn't it? Maybe I should switch with the, um,. With the archers again. Let's see what happens. I think I'll go for it. I'll with the fireball as well. Did I use a single fireball? I don't think I did. Oh well, we're sitting at 2769 when we started. And I think I'm going to end it there. Now, I think the next video I might just do it where I only showcase wins because it'll be a lot less tedious than people seeing me lose and lose and lose so anyway yeah guys thanks for watching and see you later